Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. I've started a new challenge, so I pulled out a bunch of stuff that I brought with me and decided that with this new box of giant index cards, I figured I would do a index card challenge. And then I went through all of my little bits and bobs that I brought along, and I found that I had the full alphabet of Scrabble pieces. So I think I'm going to do a weekly alphabet index challenge and I'm calling this the index card scrabble piece challenge let's do that let's call it that the index card scrabble piece challenge so I'm going to go just strictly by the full 26 letters in the alphabet in order it just keeps me honest it keeps me on track and I know exactly what letter I'll be up to the following week so I can prep for that if you guys want to participate in this challenge, please feel free to do so. Just tag me in whatever projects that you make and hashtag uh, ICSP, okay? So that stands for the Index Card Scrabble Piece Challenge, all right? So I'm just going to begin with the letter A because... <laughs> It's the first letter of the alphabet. It starts, um, it, it's worth one point. So let's just do that. I'm going to start with A and just work my way through the rest of the alphabet. All right, I also pulled out some of these little um, stickers that are, you know, the letters of the alphabet. And then I found this little piece of ephemera. It's simply the alphabet in four sizes. Yeah, so there's that. And then I have my index card. So, of course, there's the standard index card, which is about three by five. And then there's this, the medium size index card, which is a little bit larger, and that one measures four by six. And now our newest and latest index cards that I found at the thrift store. And this one measures five by eight. Okay. So let's just see, I'll probably do, um, I'll probably do, let's do this medium size card. Let's start with that. And to start with, I'm going to collage this page. And for A, I'm thinking, of course, everyone's thinking it, Apple. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> I'm just uh, putting it out there. I'm going to start with uh, just some book page, some random book page. I'll ink it and just get it down onto um, the index card. Okay. So I'm just going to ink this with vintage photo. And it's about the right size to fit on here. So whatever goes after that will just go around it in various places. And of course, we have to get the Scrabble piece onto the index card. So yeah, just follow the hashtag that I placed down on in this video, in like the title of it, or maybe in the description box, I will place the hashtag that I want you guys to use. And it's called um, the Index Card Scrabble Piece Challenge. So I'm just shortening it with uh, ICSP, okay? And um, yeah, so this has some 1944 dialect on here. It looks like, yeah, this must be some old German conversations. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I'm going to grab my glue mat. I'll use the little one today. And I'm going to just use some glue stick on here let's just use our Elmer's but today I just have this so far so good for gluing down the letter A I'm gonna have to use Fabrifix and I believe it will glue wood to paper isn't paper wood though <laughs> Isn't paper made of wood? So technically this is gluing paper to paper. So that should work out very well. I'm going to put it 
just put it down Nicole just put it down anywhere on the page I started to get all technical and and, and uh, concerned about just putting it down so here I'm just going to add some of these uh, oh, some apples here and this was uh, it says crab apple but I suppose that's a it's a form of an apple crab apples and I'm just gonna ink it uh, I want to tear this it's just so much of it okay so I'm just gonna use this little piece of this right here and I don't need the word crab apple so I can I know this is an apple and I hope you guys can tell as well that these are apples right here so I'm just gonna continue inking and I'm using vintage photo which is a bit dark um, it's it's a medium brown but it's appearing very dark right now so it's not like um, it's not as dark as the ground espresso and it's not as dark as that but it is appearing pretty dark here on this page so it's looking it's looking pretty good I like it okay so I have no prototype I'm just going like whimsically off of you know what have you so yeah let me just uh, see what else I can place on here so A, we have apples, and oh, I also have some stamps, some, some apicothery, if I can get it open, and I kind of want it to still look like an index card, but not necessarily have the full index card showing because this is an index card challenge so first I gotta let my stuff dry but I will place like some background stamps on here using VersaFine ink so here's my background stamp oh yeah that stamped as well that stamped as well all right, so yeah, I'm just gonna put it down anywhere. I hope you guys are having a nice day and um, are making the most of it, like doing crafty things in your spaces. So this is just, um, it looks like a doctor's info. It says shake the bottle down below. So let's just stamp it and see what it says really. It's probably instructions or a bottle label. All right, it says Charles Carney, something pharmacy, Williamslow. <laughs> the, the, I don't know, it's a lot of scribble. <laughs> Number 312, shake the bottle. So it must be some sort of medication that they suggested back in the day that you should take and I'm gonna just go around just the top or um, yeah just around the top with my stitch stamp so this is just some stitch some stitching on there and I will probably do the bottom as well so this is more of a collage process that I'm going with. I don't want to call it a collage challenge because the collaging part is not really the importance of it. It's using up our our stamp, I mean our um, index cards and going about it in the form of the alphabet. So yeah, so that's it. There's our first little index card. I can round my corners, no problem. I'll use the medium corner rounder. It's always a safe, a safe setting. 
and whatever is overhanging from the bottom you can add some more glue and then just cut off the excess or tear off the excess which is what I'll do I'm going to try to let this dry a little bit but I'm very impatient and I'm just going to go around the whole thing and ink it with ground espresso And this was our medium size. Is this the medium? Now I can't even tell. It's it's all covered up and I'm confused. I think this is the medium size um, index card. And the letter A is done. All right. All right. So for my second index card, I'm going to go with this smaller one here. And here's some here's some pretty paper. There we go so yeah I'm just going to I'm just going to tear away some of this paper right here and I'm going to change the direction of this the index card to go this way so it can either be a journaling card when we're done or a ticket or whatever we're just making some ephemera to go into our junk journals and yeah so I'm just tearing it and then I'll ink it whoops that's a bit much but it's okay <laughs> and then I'll ink it And that wanna go right there. And it's already pretty much pre-collaged. What I'll do is I'll separate this just so that I can have an inked, two separate inked sections. So I'll place this one here and place this one up here and then we can do that, okay? So, so I'm thinking each week I will do two index cards either one as my prototype and then one um, recorded or I'll just do two recorded index cards every week so today again is the letter A and I really hope you guys participate it'll be a lot of fun to see what you guys make so there's that really doesn't have to make any sense whatsoever it's just some deco collage on here I can place um, speaking of deco collage I have my clear gesso and my paintbrush so let's see I will place the letter A on here and I'll do it with these little guys and I'll have to get some glue behind that but I'm going with apothecary so that's going to be our theme for the letter A and what are these oh cool here's a little I wonder if this is a sticker here's a little label that says for coughs, hoarseness bronchitis etc so it's a dosage of something it's some sort of white pine and tar comp compound syrup <laughs> that's hilarious I don't think I'll be drinking anything that says white pine and tar but I'm sure back in the 1800s or so they did oh it also contains seven percent alcohol so that's why that's why they're drinking it <laughs> I'm sure lots of people got better just because it contained alcohol not because the white pine tar stuff was any good all right so I'm gonna go in with um, 
this stamp right here that actually says Apicothery. And again, I'm using Versafine. This is my favorite ink so far um, in the color Black Onyx. And I know you can't see this right now because I have my um, background stamp on there, but I can sort of see it. So I'm just going to stamp on here with just some random stuff. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And let's see. Oh, yeah. I can put this guy right here, which is the general symbol for pharmacy and doctors, elixirs, etc. And, uh, oh, here's the word pharmacy. And what does this say? This says impossible. <laughs> wow. Alright, so here's the general symbol for the medical field, which is this one. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp it right there. Now I have ink all over my fingers. Um, yeah, I'll probably just place a little label on here. And put my, this is my own personal labels that we made. I'm just going to add a little bit more glue to it. And then I'm going to collage or, or decoupage the whole thing. So, I'm just going to pop this down right up here. Okay, so there's that. And I will grab my little letter A, rub it in some glue. So, and now we have a little apicotheri card that's been totally stamped and collaged and I will round the corners in medium again it's a safe size to go with ink around the whole thing with my ground espresso And right here, I will put another little stamp. So, let's see if the word pharmacy will fit in there. <gasps> OMG, guys. I just put my hand in ink. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, so the word pharmacy will fit there. Right there. And I will put a little number or, um, let's see, I want to put a barcode. Nope, maybe I'll just put a little number right there. I don't even know if this is a number. Okay. Yep, I think that's a number. Ooh, it's pretty. Pretty, pretty filled in. I'll just put it right down here. More of a label, like a numbered label. Anyway, there's that. Nice and inked. Decoupage it with my clear gesso. I will let that dry and then it will become a very nice little card that we can use in our junk journal. Alright, so that will go along with this one all right so now we have two little journaling cards or eventually could become a ticket if you wanted to cut it down or you know I can um, I'm covered in ink I can um, uh, you know just put it anywhere in my junk journal all right guys let's have a crafty day stay naturally curious and I'll talk to you in the next one Bye!